So which spreadsheet should you take for or choose for taking class? So again, it's a toss up, but if you decided now which you're going to use for work and reporting, then I would take the corresponding course. That would make sense. Um, similarities are enough that you should be able to manage both by just taking a course in one of them. However, there are things to look for and learn in the course when you choose. So I personally have been trying to help a few people get on board and up to speed with Excel and Sheets, and I've been recommending classes. And these are the things that I feel like you have to know if you want to be successful in this. So it just helps you a little bit in trying to vet some of these courses, just to make sure that you have touched on enough things. So for one, pivot tables. Those are going to allow you to group and make sense of your data in logical ways. And for a lot of these items, I do have how-to videos, so please check out the channel. Um, VLOOKUPs, those are going to allow you to merge tabs or spreadsheets. Both of those things will change your life <laughs> if you're into reporting, so you need to know those. Sort and filter is basic. Um, you know, you can just, spreadsheets can get massive and you're going to need to the basic way to look at things so you can organize and sort by alf alf and, you know, alphabet, those types of things. Inserting rows and columns, sometimes you're going to need to delete data, sometimes you need to edit. Formatting, you need it to look nice. So you want to know the basics on that. If statements, that is when you want to say to the spreadsheet, if this, then do this. So those are really handy and you're going to need to know nested and or statements as well with that. Um, count if, that's going to allow you to count by criteria. So let's say you only want to count the cells that have X in them. You can do that with this. Charts and graphs, again, you're going to need this to look nice and be presentable. So you need to understand the visuals. Conditional functions, this is going to allow you to do things like highlight specific criteria in a color and make it easy to see. The basic functions of sum count average, the whole point usually of a spreadsheet is going to be getting totals of some sort. So you want to know the basic math functions. Percentiles, this is a little bit more advanced um, um, than just like an average is, uh, but it's going to allow you to calculate more specific numbers and look at your numbers better. And I do have a separate article on percentiles as well. I highly recommend you check out. And this is going to put you a step above at just being able to say what the average is. And then the final thing here um, is text to columns, concatenate left and right. Also have a video on this. And it's going to allow you to split out data from cells that you don't need. So let's say you have like an email address or you have a web URL and you want to cut out everything after the at sign. This is what's going to allow you to do that. So this list is not all encompassing. There's going to be lots of other things it, uh, thrown at you in these courses, but these are the basic things that I would say, as long as you pick classes that touch on these things and you can feel comfortable practicing them, you should be good to go. And you should be able to handle most things that are going to be thrown at you.